Today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. None of the Europeans who visited China or Mongolia in the 13th and 14th centuries, such as Giovanni de Pian del Carpine, William of Rubric, Marco Polo, Odoric of Pordenone, and Giovanni de Marinoli, mentioned the Great Wall. The North African traveler Ibn Battuta, who also visited China during the Yuan Dynasty in circa 1346, had heard about China's Great Wall possibly before he had arrived in China. He wrote that the wall is 60 days travel from Zaytun in his travelogue, gift to those who contemplate the wondrous cities and marvels of traveling. He associated it with the legend of the wall mentioned in the Quran, which Dul Karnain, commonly associated with Alexander the Great, was said to have erected to protect people near the land of the rising sun from the savages of Gog and Magog. However, Ibn Battuta could find no one who had either seen it or knew anyone who had seen it, suggesting that although there were remnants of the wall at that time, they were not significant. Soon after Europeans reached Ming China by ship in the early 16th century, accounts of the Great Wall started to circulate in Europe, even though no European was to see it for another century. Possibly one of the earliest European descriptions of the wall and of its significance for the defense of the country against the Tartars, the Mongols, may be the one contained by Zhao de Barros, 1563, Asia. Other early accounts in Western sources include those of Gaspar de Cruz, Bento de Goes, Matteo Ricci, and Bishop Juan Gonzalez de Mendoza, the latter in 1585 describing it as a superbious and mighty work of architecture, though he had not seen it. In 1559, in his work A Treatise of China and the Adjoining Regions, Gaspar de Cruz offers an early description of the wall, Perhaps the first recorded instance of a European actually entering China via the Great Wall came in 1605 when the Portuguese Jesuit brother Bento de Goes reached the northwestern Jayu Pass from India. Early European accounts were mostly modest and empirical, closely mirroring contemporary Chinese understanding of the wall, although later they slid into hyperbole, including the erroneous but ubiquitous claim that the Ming walls were the same ones that were built by the first emperor in the 3rd century BC. When China opened its borders to foreign merchants and visitors after its defeat in the First and Second Opium Wars, the Great Wall became a main attraction for tourists. The travelogues of the later 19th century further enhanced the reputation and mythology of the Great Wall.